Greetings everyone and welcome to another moveset with commentary. Today we have number 19, which is Takakage Kobayakawa. Yeah. So, uh, his weapon is called uh, Swordsmith's Blade. Uh, not really a fan of that name. I, I I think that, you know, when when you look at his weapon, they, they could have been a little bit more creative, but okay. Um, so, uh, Takakage is a normal attack oriented guy, which means that he has 8 power attacks and 5 strong hyper attacks. Uh, his special skill is like this. Uh, raise the abilities of yourself and your allies. Restores Muso when successful. Okay, so let's go. Uh, square in air, nothing special, and triangle, obviously a slam. Although I like how he like prepares in the air, you know, I, like he's like, ah! <laughs> really cool, nice little touch. So now let's go right into his square string. So his square string is like this. Really good. It starts pretty simple, but then he starts to conjuring the water and. Uh, then he ends with the water wave. So yeah, nice, nice. Now first one. Launcher, obviously. Second. He opens the book on some explosive page. He's like, now behold my wisdom. Oh no, it's hentai manga. <laughs> uh, so now one, two, three. Again, some pages fly. That was the second one, god damn it. So yeah, nothing too special. I mean, we can obviously call uh, special the fact that he attacks by <laughs> unleashing a pages, but uh, you know, it's nothing too crazy in terms of his moveset. So one, two, three, four. Okay, I, I like this. I like this um, magic barrier-ish type of attacks. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so uh, water bubble. One, two, three, four, five, six. Again, very similar to the third one. Let's let's try and compare them. So one, two, three. Damn it. And one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I guess it's a little bit different, but pretty much the same. Now one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, again, pretty much the same. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, that's pretty cool. Water wave, I... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I don't know if he, like, uh, summons the water out of the book or if he's trying to protect the book from the water, you know? Eh, whatever. So now, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, so yeah, a lot of his attacks are kind of similar to each other, but uh, overall they are cool. So now, uh, Hyper String. Okay, nothing too crazy. First strong Hyper Attack. Second <laughs> Bombardment straight out of the book. Okay, and one, two, three, four, and five, sorry, that was fifth one, so fourth one. Alright, and triangle uh, near the allies. Alright, so now, Muso. Bunch of pages and water. And yeah, then he summons the water domes and they explode. Really like that, really like that. Because, you know, water is kind of neglected element in both Sengoku Basara and in Samurai Warriors. Uh, to this day, it, it's kind of mind-blowing for, for me that uh, there's uh, no water element in Sengoku Basara, but whatever. Now let's demonstrate the Musou Frenzy. For example, here.
Really nice effect, really nice effect. So, let's summon our horse. And this is the horse drink. First. Okay, so it's some magic attack. One, two. Okay, a laser from the book and... Yeah, pages. Now, let's uh, go somewhere, um, visit some officers. But I'm afraid that we don't have anything like that here. So in the meantime, let's talk about Takakage Kobayakawa. So, Takakage Kobayakawa was the third son of Motonari Mori. And he is said to be the wisest one. Oh, there's an officer, great. Uh, you, kind sir. Thank you. Okay, so yes, yeah, some shocking page that that <laughs> that made him be repelled like a magnet. <laughs> All right, so now to Takakage Kobayakawa himself. Uh, so yeah, uh, he was really wise, and he was son of Motonari Mori. He was also adopted to uh, Kobayakawa clan. Um, so, to this Takakage Kobayakawa, uh, I cannot compare him with anyone because he is not in uh, Sengoku Basara. But I gotta say that I really like him. Uh, the idea that he is like wielding a book is quite amusing and, and it works. And plus, you know, he's, he's something like a battle mage basically and I always like that. So, yeah. Um, his attire is also okay, even though I'm not really a fan of orange color. But there's a little bit of blue and orange and blue, they go quite well together, so yeah. I have no problem with that. And... Um, Appearance-wise, he's kind of the typical shonen protagonist, you know. But... Uh, there's nothing wrong with that. So yeah, overall, uh, why is he uh, on such high position? Well, as I said, he, he's basically a battle mage. I really like the idea of using book as a weapon. <laughs> it's really funny and kind of awesome. And yeah, he's uh, he is like an intelligent dude, and I I really like uh, intelligent. Uh, intelligent and smart uh, characters so yeah that's probably the reason for that so yeah that's Takakage Kobayakawa uh, tell me what do you think about this guy and I'll see you guys next time oh by the way um, one little info I finally started to work on um, to work on uh, you know custom created characters so yeah uh, I will definitely film their moveset but it will be after I'm done with this and I have yet to figure out what I really want to do with those characters so yeah but uh, once I figure it out I'll let you guys know so yeah farewell guys and sorry I'm a dumbass I called uh, R1 a triangle so yeah obviously this is R1 and let me demonstrate one more time his uh, his power attacks because uh, it was kinda messy so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, sorry that's my mobile phone, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, yeah, so farewell.